I just want to show you something of what the controversy uh, is about. Um, you can see there a, a black man coming into the kitchen as the, the woman's doing her washing. Uh, she has a capsule of the product that's being promoted. Um, she's there with the man and it's what she's about to do with him. Stuffing him into the washing machine to be made cleaner. And then in the ad, gives it a few spins, promotes the product. And then out comes a rather fair-skinned Chinese man instead. You might be able to guess why that's you know, provoked quite a lot of reaction. Well, with me is Yuan Wu from the BBC's Chinese service. In China itself, has this created shock or not? Yes, it has. I think it makes for a very uncomfortable viewing for a lot of people, and they took it on social media to express their anger. Uh, blatant racism, some of them call it rubbish ad, uh, sickening racism. Uh, if I were a black person, I would feel very uncomfortable and things goes on and on. Um, some people point out we have been victims of racial discrimination ourselves. That doesn't mean we should impose it to other people. And one shouted, my God, don't the marketing people have any training about racism? So well, this it has created a stir. Yes. This is really interesting, Ewan, because this must have gone through a whole process of let's storyboard it, let's brainstorm, wouldn't this be funny, a lot of laughter in the boardroom. Yes, yeah, some editing people should uh, have a good chat among themselves and also uh, some very sharp-eyed um, readers point out it's not even original. This is a copycat to an Italian advertisement also for laundry detergent but that message was to put a white person in and then out come a very masculine looking black guy and their slogan... So that was funny. That was funny and their slogan is colored is better. So they copied the idea, even the music sounds the same, but they didn't copy the message.